Hey guys, it's Brick Witchery here and today I've got another video for you guys. I've been into mock building as long as I can remember, but I've never really considered myself an expert. But I just wanted to show you guys something that I did which I thought was really cool and made a mock of the Gryffindor common room. So in this mock I recreated the regular common room with all the couches and also the stairway leading up to it. I'm planning to do the actual dormitory soon, but that will have to wait. As you might be able to tell, I've actually included a lot of the pieces that I used from my haul video because I bought them for that exact reason, because I knew I'd be making this set. One thing I wanted to address was the fact that there are a lot of loose pieces and pieces that hang off the side, pieces that are uneven with the rest of the mock. I just wanted to say that I do not have some of the right pieces at the moment, so I've just used them as placeholders until I get proper bricks. For example, I've used a lot of two by one bricks where I should probably use one by one bricks those are only temporary I will be replacing them once I get some now onto the features of my mock so you can see that I've used some elements from the advent calendars I've got the chest, chest set from the 2019 advent calendar and 2020 the advent calendars Gryffindor common room chair I slightly modded the 2020 advent calendars chair just to fit within the style of the room as I did not have enough maroon dark red colored pieces I decided to replace some of the pieces with bright red and integrate it with the dark red pieces some little additions to the common room are a little plant a letter and a picture on the wall the picture on the wall is of a unicorn but I'll definitely be replacing that when I can as I couldn't find anything I wanted to use for the meantime. I know in the movie there was actually a portrait of someone in that picture so I'll probably see if I can find something of that nature. A random thing I decided to include was some Gryffindor hangings. I obviously used the pre-existing Gryffindor hangings from the 2010 Hogwarts set but I decided to switch it up a little bit with another one as I used some grill pieces and some transparent pieces in different hues of red. The plant in the corner was made using the same pieces from the Attack on the Burrow set, just with a transparent cone piece. The variation in wall colours was done to give some texture to the walls, give a little bit of an illusion of the walls being made out of brick. And by brick, I mean not Lego brick, but real brick. The placement of the window in the corner was also done to match the films, and same with the placement of the arch. As you can see with the arch's position, you'll be able to see the stairs through the arch, as with this reference photo from the movie. This curved staircase is a series of pieces that I took from the 2010 Hogwarts set and can also be found in the 2018 Great Hall set. I just thought this piece worked really well with the set and it recreated the look of the stairs from the movies perfectly. When I add my Gryffindor dormitory, I will definitely add some more stairs just to lead up to it. As I know it looks a little bit odd as it's kind of floating in midair at the top for the staircase. To accompany the staircase, I included a little lantern as it would look really cool next to it. To get this couch on an angle, I used a single eyelet underneath and then placed a stud underneath the chair. I used the stud to connect the chair to the eyelet and turned it as I desired. With the size of the chairs, I decided to make them a bit larger than one might usually choose as I wanted to make them seem comfy and big for the minifigures to be able to sit in. Now you may see some inaccuracies in this mock, such as the Gryffindor hangings and the general size of the mock. This was just because I don't have a big enough faceplate. I am ordering some new ones, so I might transfer it to that faceplate when it gets here. But as for the Gryffindor hanging, I chose to individualize my mock as I wanted to make it my own. Still sticking to the atmosphere of the Gryffindor common room. Another design decision I chose to make was changing the color of the carpet. I decided to use a darker tannish color just because I had a lot of tiles in those colors. And I think that tiled pieces round the off. mocks nice. Finally, my magnum opus of this mock is the light brick. I thought this was such a great idea to add the light brick to add a source of light for the fireplace as I'd curved out the fireplace just as in the movies and I thought that it would be a really cool idea to try and add that glow that you see when a fire lights up. This mock is far from complete which is evident by the lack of tiles on the edges and the curved off edges but these will be fixed eventually however this is a work in progress so I may make an update video for you guys with this but we'll see. And here's a final overlook. I've put in a few Harry Potter figures just to busy it up a little bit make it look like it's actually a scene from the books and movies and that's it for now thanks for watching this video if you enjoyed this video give it a like subscribe if you want leave me a comment or suggest a change to the common room i'll be checking the comments if you have anything to say and see you next time